You got that brand kit and it is gorgeous. But how do you use it in Canva? It's so hard to keep copying and pasting all of the hex codes of all of your colors over and over. Well, do not fret. There is a brand kit feature in Canva where you can organize everything. And I'm gonna show that to you today. Welcome to our channel. I'm Tia and I am so glad you are here. I love to make these tutorials fast and straight to the point. So let's jump right in. We're gonna show you how to set up your brand kit, which is just right over here in the tools. Now it's important to know that you do need Canva Pro in order to have a brand kit, but Canva Pro is unbelievable. You have so many templates, so many extra features. It is so worth it. And it's a really affordable monthly cost to be able to get that. So you just click on the brand kit over here and then you can have a whole bunch of brand kits. So you can see I have one that's called Cameron and Tia and one is called Amalfi Coast. And that's because I was doing a family trip presentation that I wanted to have a brand kit for. If I click in here and Cameron to Tia, the normal one, you can see all of our logos and our submarks. You can see our fonts. We can even personalize them for like bolded, for the size that we generally want them to start at. We can even upload fonts. Now that was a game changer for us in having Canva Pro. Margot's script is our headings font. And so we were able to upload that to have that in Canva, game changing. We can include all of our brand colors and you just add them by the hex code or you can click to be able to add anything. Of course, I don't want to add anything right now. You can also copy that to other brand kits, which can be really handy, and you can add new palettes. So I could have multiple palettes or multiple brand fonts within this here. It's so handy to be able to just click on these and pull them up. So I'm going to show you in action. So I'm going to go home and then pretend that I am putting together an Instagram post. What's nice about this is when I go over to text, you will see Cameron and Tia, my brand kit right there. I could swap it over to my Amalfi Coast, but of course I'm not going to do that. I can click here it adds the heading right there heading yes good to go that is so easy in addition if I click on this and I want to change the color it's gonna put my brand colors right at the top here I'm just clicking on them that means in Canva I am never copying over hex codes I'm never looking up fonts it makes it so easy but if I were to be in a template so let's say that I am using this template and I click on this, and obviously this is not one of my brand fonts, but boy, these are cute fonts, I love them. I can click here, and just like the colors, it's going to show me my brand fonts right up here on top, which is really handy. So I can just swap that over and be like, Oswald, done. So amazing. If I want it to be in all caps, boom, because that's how we utilize Oswald. Super, super easy. And then same thing, I can do the colors. This will show the document colors currently, but then I can add in my brand color. So I'm like, boom, I need it to be this blue. And then I'm able to personalize this. Now, there's an even easier way to do this. So I'm gonna show you another design and I wanna show you one that has some fonts and some colors. So here is a great one, heading Yas. It just brought it over, which is awesome. I can go right back to templates in design and then I'm gonna switch it over here to styles. And looky here, it has my brand colors and my brand fonts right here. And watch this, I'm gonna click, boom, done. I'm gonna click colors, boom, done. Now. This, I'm like, that's not it. I mean, it's getting me closer because it's already in my brand colors. That's awesome. But like the black on black, I don't like the charcoal as the background. Let's try to swap it out and shuffle. Oh, perfection. Let's try it again. And it can keep going and it can give you all kinds of different options. There, there's our winner, right? We love these, all different colors. The blue is looking so awesome. It has headings, yas. And I'm going to swap this because I'm like, uh, that doesn't quite make sense. All of my brand elements are right here. I'm going to actually have it be Playfair display. And then look, down here, you have this option for change all. So anything that was Alice, I'm going to swap over to Play fair display. Font change across your entire design. That is why the power of having your brand in here is so amazing. The final piece that we didn't discuss yet was logos. So it'll make this own little file that has your logos that can stay right here. And yes, I could upload more if needed, but you can see it has my brand right there and I could do a multi ghost if I wanted. And then I can click on here and I can just bring my logo right into here. I want this to be a graphic that I'm gonna post on Instagram and I want my logo to be up top there. Boom, done. So there's where you set up your brand kit and why it is such a game changer. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial. If you loved it, we would so appreciate if you hit like. Be sure to subscribe for any future Canva tutorials. We've got a whole playlist for you where you can find everything you need to know. And until next time, bye.